Maverick. Apparently, it's Adventure's first stop. What's up, everyone? So today we are back working on the Mini. If any of you guys have ever driven these hard at autocross or the track or anything, uh, you know that they do get very hot and the heat soaked pretty quickly. One of the things that can help with that is obviously upgrading the intercooler, which that is a future modification that's coming. But for right now, I just want to decrease the underhood temperatures. To do that, I picked up some vents. So they're just off of eBay, Amazon probably has them too. I don't even know if they have a brand, but they are a, an actual vent. They do have holes and they are painted black already, which is fine. Um, it's kind of a secondary color, I guess, for, for this mini, because I've got the black mirrors, the black roof, and all that chrome needs to go away. So that'll be black as well at some point. But I think it'll be a nice addition, kind of break up the hood a little bit and offer some cooling. So we do need to map out on the hood where these are going to go because obviously we want them to be even. We want them to actually look good on there. So I'm going to grab some tape and start taping everything off, get some measurements and make sure that these are going to be sitting right where we want them to be. And as part of this video, I might actually cut away more of the understructure. I do want to reduce the weight of this hood a little bit because eventually maybe getting a carbon fiber hood would be an option for it. But for right now, it would just be nice to just decrease the, the weight of the factory hood a little bit. And I know from looking at some of the forums and some of the, the Facebook groups that there are some people who have cut away the structure underneath the hood, dropped some weight off the hood, and that has not taken away from the structural rigidity of the hood, which is, which is something that's important to still have in there. So let's grab that tape, start taping everything off, get this mapped out. show up with you know having the light over there but let you guys see what we got going here so got it all marked out you see my my measurements making sure that everything stayed square on that line and on this side you see the measurements lines are not as clean on this side but it's it's not a big deal uh, I've remeasured everything made sure that's why that line's so fat I want to come in slightly from the original line so got to get those drilled on the corners and then we can start cutting these out. cut in the hood. I've got the vents just placed in there right now but not actually stuck in there. Um, I did do some of the touch-up paint all around that bare edge because obviously we don't want any rust. I did use my jigsaw to cut out the holes. It's the closest thing I've got to a body saw and I could have used my angle grinder or the cutoff wheel but I thought this would be a better idea to not throw any sparks in my windshield or anything because I don't want to deal with that. So the lines are not as straight as I would like them but they're not too bad. I mean, they're, they're decent. Those are obviously the holes where I drilled corners. They could be better, but they're not too bad. 
and with the vents in place, you'll never see them anyway. I'm gonna call it a night for tonight, but I will see you guys tomorrow. We are back at it. So as you can see, holes are cut. Uh, you can also see I took this vent top. I'll show you guys how to do that, just in case you don't know how. It's mostly held on. You can see these holes right, right, right there, and right there. Just cut holes around it. Uh, those are all like these little plastic retainers. They just slide into there, and just snap into place. And then right here, there's normally a little metal clip. I don't have it on this one, but there's a bolt that comes up from the bottom side of the hood, right there, and bolts into that. As you can see, I won't be using that, but I haven't been using that for a very long time, so it doesn't matter. But I removed this because I want to cut out all of this. Uh, I know I talked to you guys about maybe cutting out everything underneath, but I want to. So I'm gonna pull the hood off and cut all this out. One thing that'll do for us is it'll get rid of some of, well, it'll get rid of all of this, um, which I have pulled the, the screen out of there already. I did that a really long time ago. But if you guys look in there, see if you guys can see it from there, eh, kinda. But right there, it's all blocked off. So I want none of that there. So we can get as much air inside there as possible. So let's pull this hood off and mark it up. I guess start cutting it. I think this is going to be heavy. Ow. You guys will be able to see the numbers but i'm gonna grab the hood put it on a towel here we'll get a before weight so i don't know how well you guys were actually able to see those numbers but it said 36.2 which is actually a lot lighter than i thought that hood was uh forums have said it's heavier than that but that's okay and obviously that's not including the vents that we're putting in it but those probably only weigh point one or point two of a pound each that's not gonna make a huge difference and I'm ready to start marking the hood up start cutting guys can see I found out that I had to drill out all these spot welds so I could separate the panels from each other so I drilled those out so that I could keep on going it is a new day with it being light outside and actually let you guys see what I've got going on here um, so I do have a little bit of a fitment issue now that uh, where it used to sit along that rubber seal at the very top uh, doesn't sit there anymore. So it's just sitting on the actual hinges. Uh, so I did pick up just some washers to use as uh, shims to move that hood height up just slightly. And on the corners, like here, there, here, um, and at the back side of the wheel arch, uh, they do poke out slightly, so I'm just going to tweak those in. That's on both sides. Get underneath it, do a bunch of cleanup on everywhere we cut because we don't want to leave any sharp edges there. So I'll clean all that up, and then we'll be good to put the vents in, put the scoop in, call it good. So you can see where I cut around the whole thing. Up here, all the way around there and around the headlights. You guys probably saw that I was struggling up here. Well, it turns out there's actually two layers here. So the, I guess, bottom layer <laughs> uh, is attached to kind of a middle layer with some spot welds in multiple places. 
So I drilled those spot welds out and that allowed me to actually separate those two pieces. Then I was able to get underneath here and cut the middle layer out all around here and match this line. I will be pulling the hood off again because I wanna go around everywhere I cut here with a flapper wheel, make sure that I clean up all those edges. I will round off that one there. Uh, I just wanna make sure that everything is nice and clean and I don't get my hands cut. You should get one of these because when you drop your bolts like an idiot, you can get them out. Right here is where I added those washers for the shims to make sure the height was good, tighten it all back down, and then grab my flashlight to make sure all of our fitment is good on our panel gaps. Excuse the mess of my garage here, but I want to let you guys see what I'm doing in, in the garage with the light is the best way to do it. With our scoop here, I told you guys that they were just attached with these little plastic trim, or panel trim retainers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, some people just call them like plastic poppers, whatever. It's these little things and they just slot into these slots. So we've got five of them. We can slot them all in. And that's gonna be what retains this. So we'll get these in here so we can get this back on. As far as both of the vents go, it's just some of this, uh, I don't know what brand it is. I have some 3M double-sided tape over there. Don't know if this is 3M, I would guess probably not, but it's just some of that double-sided tape. I will be pulling off the red and sticking these down. Before we throw those vents on, I've got some of this just wax and grease remover that we're just gonna clean up the surface with so we make sure that it sticks really well. When I tried to put these vents on last night, it turned out that the adhesive tape that they used was not anywhere near thick enough. So I actually went and picked up some 3M tape, put that on there, and hopefully we can get these on right now. I know I didn't show you guys me weighing it again, but you couldn't really see the numbers when I weighed it the first time when it was 36.2 pounds. Now that I've weighed it with everything off of there, we did drop about eight pounds off the hood. It was about 28 pounds after dropping everything off of there. So I think that's a worthwhile gain. I mean, it's not huge weight and you're obviously, obviously not gonna notice eight pounds on its own, but with continual uh, dropping or weight reduction all over the vehicle, you'll eventually start to make a, a difference. Before we call it done, I need to let you guys see. So if you remember, there was an obstruction in there before. There's now nothing in the way. You can see all the way back there to the air intake. So a nice clean shot, nice straight shot of air going in there. And you guys have already seen that the vents do have holes, but you can actually, oh, those are dirty. <laughs> you can actually see down in there. So that'll hopefully let a nice amount hot air out of the engine bay. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We will see you guys very soon.